I can't believe it's actually come to me playing this game. Oh boy, it's such a wide variety of languages for me to pick. I like how the top two ones are English and Korean. Or is that American? Do we all speak American? How does Taiwan, Macau, and Hong Kong all have their own little flag? What? That's right, all you guys wanted me to play the mobile converted game Age of Civilizations 2, which is made in Java. I really, real, you really want me to really want me to do this. Now I understand this game is made by one guy and it is supposed to be a mobile game so I'm gonna base my criticisms on that. For starters, you all have phones right? Good. Play mobile games on your mobile phone, not on the PC. Now the game actually is quite similar to EU4 in some weird bastardization sense but um, they, they, they also have a checkpoint for the Great Emu War. Okay, I'll give you that one game. Now, I could take the time out of my day to learn the game, play the tutorial, and just have a bit of fun, but I'm one of those stubborn old people who just really can't be bothered, so I'm going to learn by continuously failing until I eventually win. Better start off as than the Pope. I mean, just look at him. He's as bored as I am. Uh, apparently, I start with technology points, and I I've got to assign them to whatever I want to tech up in. Am I doing it right? Am I making you cringe, mobile Age of Civilizations 2 players? ARE YOU NOT ENTERTAINED?! Right, I figured out how to declare wars and we're going in. We're gonna take Siena with my army, which is just a number on a screen with the, with the flag next to it, which is all I need to know that I'm gonna beat the damn hell out of Siena! Look at this! LOOK AT THE BATTLE! VICTORIOUS! Oh, and all that excitement? I, I didn't realize that Tunis uh, is at war with me. At least I think I think that's what that means. Those red, yep, that they were definitely at war with us. What the hell, Tunis? Look, I'm a professional. Got an achievement to prove it. Uh, we got this one in the. Excuse me? That was intentional. I didn't want to play as the Pope anyway. It's 2018. I can't support such a, an establishment existing. So uh, let's go play a different nation. There you go, Teutonic Order. Just the other theocracy that I needed. So I'm assuming every time I have to die here, I just have to spam all these points again, which is just, I'm sure that won't get old. So I think the issue last time was that I just was not aggressive enough. I, I really need to start pushing before the, the AI figures out how to just death stack a bunch of troops. So uh, yeah, I, I took Pomerania no problem, and and then uh, the Livonian Order just came down with like 12,000 troops and just wiped me out while I, I was over the... Uh, uh, let's try another one! Right, this time around, I'm just gonna tax everyone. I can't be bothered putting these points in again. We also decided I'm gonna play as the Dutch, because if there's anyone that can survive in some sort of weird hellscape that is mobile video games ported to the PC, it's probably the Dutch! Uh, that's a lot of numbers. Oh, I won. It's fine. Achievement unlocked! Oh, I I don't know how to describe how this game controls other than it's clearly made for a mobile game. It's not It's not fun. It's just not fun. Right, Mr. Freezer, accept my vassalization or I'll go to war with you. This is just gonna be an easy way to declare war and I, I can't really be Oh, they accept it. Uh, I don't know if this is supposed to work like this, but I guess if you can be bothered Usually, if you've got a big enough army, everyone just accepts vassalization off of you. I haven't had anyone say no to me yet. I, I'm just going around and I'm vassalizing everybody. Are, are they gonna say- Oh, these guys actually said no. Okay, time to go in and take out Flanders! I think I'm finally starting to get the game now. It's, um, you just gotta cheese it. That's what- this is what this game should be called. Age of Cheeses 2. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I don't think so, buddy. What the hell? On top of that, if you, if you have someone vassalized, you could just send them another ultimatum and demand their annexation. And uh, they accept it. Although, they didn't accept all of it. I just... Oh, they declared independence immediately. That's why. Uh, well, I guess. <laughs> I don't think so, Brabant. Every time, like, your game's over, you can just watch a timeline back on, like, you, you can see how every move you've made and everything you've done. And as you can see right there, I just got taken out by one province because I kept spamming end turn and didn't realize I was at war. Ah! They actually implemented formable nations in this game. Although, I, I don't really know if that does anything, other than just the the flavour of it, like you just, you just now that you're the Dutch Republic or the Netherlands or stuff like that, I, I don't see if they have anything beneficial to it, but you can do it, 
If you like painting maps, you have $4.99 in the wallet, and you really like ported mobile games based on the Java outdated engine, come on down! God damn, every time I think I've got every promise I need to form one of these damn nations, I, I still miss one, and this time around, it's action! Anyone, anyone need an action to form a nation? Because I do! I do! Right, now, which one do I choose, guys? Do I choose the Batavian Republic, the Netherlands, or the Dutch Republic? Of course, I'm going to pick the Netherlands, because one, the Batavian Republic, I'm pretty sure was some weird puppet state that the French invaded and set up, and, uh, Dutch Republic, republics, they stink, buddy. I'm all about that absolute monarchy. Oh, I can set in Sweden alliance. I, I didn't even think that diplomacy existed in this game more than just demanding everyone's vassalization, but... Oh, God. Why did I say yes to this? Also, why the hell is Holstein up here? I, I don't know specifically what just happened, but I think what I saw happening was Frankfurt just came out of nowhere, took over my whole country, and I think the Polish were involved. Because Poland is goddamn huge! Yeah, not entirely sure why the Polish invaded me, but we're back, guys! I want to shoot myself! At this point, I'd rather play Stellaris. It's gone that bad. I, I, one of the things I can't figure out is why the AI just declares war on everyone randomly. Like, England, I'm allied to you, but I don't even know where Masovia is. Oh, wait, no, I know where Masovia is. Oh, God! Instead of that, I'm just, I'm just going to invade Denmark, all right? I, I've just got so much rage just held up inside me because I can't be too mean on this game. A lot of work's got into it. I'm just angry. Oh, you can also assimilate provinces. I don't specifically understand what that means. If it's some sort of like coring mechanic, but the, the Netherlands, the, the Denmarkians, they're, they're basically the same people, right? So, sure. Yeah, okay. One thing I don't like is the fact if you just walk into a province, you own it now. So, what the fact these there are two French people. That is the number two. There are two of these French guys just walking around my country, just taking stuff over. It's like... Pierre and Mon Pierre just being like, oh, ha, ha, let us go to the Netherlands and have budget I mean, one plus is that my rebels have a nice pink flag. That's that's my type of rebellion right there. Fight the power, pink boys. F fight you. Oh my god, kill me! Figured out you can also colonize in this game. It's pretty intuitive. You uh, click on a province, you pay some money, you own it now. Just like real life. What? Why do the Byzantines exist? Do they have some sort of secret debuff I don't know about? Because there is no excuse for the Byzantines exist. Why is Brandenburg so big? What the hell happened to Poland? Why France and Algeria already? Well, it's not the weirdest thing I've seen. Uh, Kara Quinlu has colonized these little provinces in America. Kara Quinlu. So yeah, now I just own like all of the east coast of America and honestly, I'm, I'm really bored. I, I, I'm, re I'm really bored. I I gotta hide it. Right, let's try this again. I'm just gonna do a random nation. So whoever we land on is whoever we're gonna play as. It's kind of like a country roulette in Age of Civilizations 2. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's spin the... Who the hell am I playing as? Is this Moray? Oh, okay, let's play. Oh, just gonna call a re-roll on that one. I was uh, clearly not up to full. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Right, clearly we just weren't meant to be playing in the modern world. We'll just go ahead and just change it to something else. Not Brazil. I do not want to play Brazil or the United States. The football war. No, World War Two. What we all know and love. Hoi Four is back, everyone. In Asian Civilizations Two, I'm playing. Guatemala! I got a bit ahead of myself there. I'm actually playing Nicaragua. Uh, basically, the exact same deal, though. I'm still very, very not wanting to play this nation, but we're gonna give it our best shot. The old Rambler try. <laughs> no, I thought I was doing really well as Nicaragua down here, but then I looked up north and uh, America just annexed all of Mexico. Uh, it's not even the worst thing. The UK owns Brazil. Um, it's not even the worst thing, because France owns all of Western Europe. At least I think that's France. Could literally be anyone, because I can't tell. That's it. Roosevelt, you listen here. You give me your vassalization to Nicaragua, or I'm gonna, I'm gonna freak. He said no. Oh, oh well. Does this count as like suicide by cop, but it's like suicide by America? Because I'm fine with just 
dying anyway at this point, honestly. So you maybe will be wondering, uh, I saw it, do you recommend this game then? And uh, I, I'm going to go ahead and say for $4.99, there's probably a lot worse games you could be buying. But if you want to buy it, buy it. I personally won't be playing it. 